Hi there, and welcome to another episode of In the Garden Show with Michael Toulson. Today we're going to talk about fruit trees. My client, a good friend, Gina, just sent me two apple trees from the Thomas Jefferson Monticello Association. These trees were originally, I do believe, uh, bred by Thomas Jefferson. They've recently just sent them out. And what's most important about it is I'm going to educate you on how to take a bare-rooted tree and get it successfully planted in the ground. I've already planted one here. I've left the tag in here. The Thomas Jefferson Center of Historic Plants. How cool is that? At any rate, I've got a stake from the yard that I used before. I'm doing spring pruning right now. Save your hardwood stakes. They make, excuse me, hardwood trimmings. They make great stakes. What I'll do later on is tie that on there as, as we're not in windy conditions. We don't need to do so in the greenhouse. But if you're outside and doing something like this, you may want to keep it more stabilized. So what we're going to move to is how I got from here. Excuse me. From here to here. a nice mixture. I recommend always using a high grade, good nutrient based potting soil mix. I've added in my own compost here, which I am so proud of and I recommend to people and we'll talk about that later on how to get this good stuff. Otherwise, we're going to talk about getting this in the pot. One of the things I've used and I've already applied to this here is the root tone, a rooting hormone. And that's going to just keep us give us a little higher success rate in transplanting. This is real typical of what you'd see from any type of quality nursery that's going to send you a root based, uh, excuse me, bare root tree. And here we go, they've wrapped it with newspaper, they've given us the tag. I've already added root tone to here. I've mixed this soil with my compost just to give it a little bit more aeration. One of the things they talk about is do not plant them too low. The old saying is plant them too low, they won't grow. Plant them high, they won't die. And it really is true. So we want to be careful. And the other thing is being delicate with these roots. They just arrived, sent from Virginia in Boise, Idaho, of all things. Centered into the pot to me is important. But right now, centered isn't so important as being delicate with the roots. This is going to get transplanted later on. So don't spend too much time on centering. Spend more time on the quality of the planting. Once again, you plant too low, they won't grow. There is the root base right there. That's what we're talking about. It's right where those roots start. We don't want it any deeper than that. Another thing I like to do when I plant is top with my wonderful compost. I will take my trusty sprayer, water this in here, add the stake as if I did with the other one, add the tag so you can remember what it is. It's in the greenhouse for now if you're doing this outside. And then I would recommend tying the stake up there. Uh, and I would recommend holding off just a little bit. We're February in Boise right now. Wait another couple weeks if you're going to do something like this in Boise as I have the luxury of a heated nighttime. Otherwise, um, once again, specify taking good care of the root system. As soon as you get a plant, water it in good, get it planted, don't wait around. And within a couple of years, we're going to have Pippin apples from the Thomas Jefferson Center of Historic Plants. How cool. Hey, thanks, and we'll see you next time.